Uh, hello everyone, and hello to YouTube user, the Atheist Gamer. Uh, I want to make a couple points in response to a video that you had uploaded on your channel about two weeks ago, titled "Feminism is Your Enemy." All right, so here's my first point. In a couple parts of this video, uh, you talk about how the gender wage gap does not exist because of sexism, uh, is, is essentially what you say. Uh, you say that the reason that women get paid less than men is is because, okay, you, you say you mentioned three reasons. One, women's bodies are completely different. They tend to work less, and that's women, I'm assuming, and women don't work overtime as much as men do. Okay. So here's what I'm asking you. Can you show me, sir, how you came to this conclusion? Well, it's, it's you know, very simple. All you gotta do is just look up a few videos on YouTube. I mean, I watched The Amazing Atheist. Um, the Amazing Atheist left links in the description in one of his videos about how women do, uh, in fact, work less than men. Um, and there are, in fact, legitimate reasons for it. Again, uh, women tend to work less because of um, their, limit, their body limitations. They tend to take more vacation days, more um, sick days. They have to, uh, most women tend to pick up the kids from work, so they have to take time off, which, you know, costs them money. Uh, what else? There's pregnancy. Um, and I, there's other factors that I know that they're around, but... I just can't think of them right now. But let's talk about the wage gap for a brief moment. The wage gap argument is basically that women earn 77 cents as much as the men work as. This is basically um, the one statistic that they found out. They took the average earnings of that of a man and take the average earning of that of a woman and just put it all together, it turns out that men tend to work more, um, gain more money. But they didn't factor anything else. That's the problem. They didn't bother to factor in the amount of time, the amount of out, um, amount of time, the amount of days, um, how, where they work, how they work, etc, etc, etc. These are very important factors. But the fact that feminists are just, you know, ignoring this factor and, you know, just saying, oh, look, women tend to work less, you know, women tend to get paid less without looking at any other details. And the ones that do look at the details always come up with the exact same argument. Oh, so, okay, that's fine, that's fine, but what about the women who tend to work more than men? As if I, I'm against that. No, I am not against the idea of, you know, a woman getting paid more than men as long as a woman does, in fact, work more than a man. I'm not denying the fact that there are women who don't work overtime. I'm not denying the fact that there are women out there who, you know, work even harder than men. Yes, there are women out there who do that. In fact, single mothers, believe it or not, are the breadwinners for, for their own household. Which, in fact, makes sense because they're single mothers. They have to pay for their child. They got to pay for themselves. It's hell for a single mother. So, this is why the wage gap argument fails. Because it fails to... Because feminists fail to realize that they're only observing on what they get on average rather than the factors on how they receive this amount of money. Or why they receive this amount of money. The way it's set up like that? Okay. Uh, here's the next point I'm making. I want to kind of respond to an argument they had made. Um, the woman you're responding to in the video basically says something along the lines of that um, feminism is, you know, about fighting for equality and about, you know, like women's rights and they care about helping women and all that. Something along those lines. You know, don't quote me on that, but that's, it was something along those lines. Um... Now, you re respond to this by saying, well, then how come they're not, you know, going and dealing with these issues that are going on in these places, like, sort of these, like, I'm a, I think you were talking about these sort of, like, Middle Eastern, kind of, like, fundamentalist Islamic type countries, where, like, women are, like, these second-class citizens, and they don't have, you know, as many rights as men, and, you know, it's just, you know, 
you know, where things are really horrible for women. Okay. Here's, here's the thing. Um, I find this argument to be flawed. Uh, here's one, here's one reason. Well, I could turn this argument around on you, and I could say, well, uh, atheist gamer, you know, why do you make these videos talking about, uh, gay marriage? I mean, if you really care about, you know, gay rights and stuff, you would be doing stuff that, with the, uh, the issue that, um, I'm gonna reference something from a CNN article that I'm going to link in the description. Uh, here's a quote from this article. In Uganda, homosexual acts are punishable by 14 years to life in prison, according to rights activists. Like I said, I'll link the article, um, just, you know, look down a little, you can find, uh, look down a few paragraphs, you can find that quote, if you want to see it. Um, so, do you see kind of why maybe that logic is flawed now? Because I could say the same thing as you, I mean, I mean, not everybody's always going to, like, talk about, like, the worst thing. That would be a great counter-argument, except for one problem. Women here are not oppressed. The majority of feminists are focusing here in America, where women are literally, uh, are literally the most least oppressed people here. I, I, it's, I mean, here, like, compared to other third world countries, women have it here easy. In fact, women can get away with stuff uh, more easily than men can do. A woman can hit a man, and you know the crowd will go crazy. They will cheer for that woman for defending herself. But if a man hits a woman, that man gets gets to be dehumanized. Don't you see that double standard? <clears throat> and as for and you know, gays, gay marriage. It's it's still uh, America is still working up they're fixing up gay marriage do you know there's only about i believe 11 states that are allowing gay marriage i believe it's most mostly the northeastern part of america and california but states like arizona texas those states are not going to allow gay marriage gay people are far more oppressed than women and yet women, these feminists are Focusing only on their genders as if Yes, yes, yes it, it, Feminism is like the ultimate salvation towards everything But it's not This is why feminism fails because they're always thinking that women are somehow oppressed They can literally find oppression towards anything If, if they find a cartoon that they don't like it's you know, if they see a, a bunch of girls um, showing off their boobs or, you know, it's not even in a sexual way, you know, just, you know, showing off their bodies, then it's oppression because they're trying to please the male audience. If there's only two female characters in, like, in a, an entire series, it's oppression because, you know, there's only two women. They will find oppression in literally anything. Just look at Anita Sarkeesian. She would find sexism in songs. Fucking Christmas songs. Who does that? Only a feminist would do that. I mean, she's right now making a, a, a video series entitled Women vs. Tropes. I mean, Tropes vs. Women in video games. And I have to ask, where's the gay people? Where, where, where's the blacks? Why, why, where, where are they? Why aren't we having groups of people doing that? Uh, because last time I checked, according to game theory, there aren't that many gay characters, and the ones that are gay characters are either unstable villains, I mean, either villains or unstable people. I'm sorry. But compared to, you know, gay people, women have it all. And I know you're going to bring up, you know, again, that one country that persecutes gays. Look, like I said, change is a very slow thing. And I personally believe that we need to fix our shit with gay marriage here so that way we can fix in, uh, gay marriage in other places to set up a good example. Here in America, women, again, are not oppressed. 
women are the most privileged people walking on this earth. At least here in America. You know, like, sometimes people might not just be interested in talking about these horrible things. Sometimes people are, like, because maybe it's, or maybe it's not that they might not be interested, but maybe because, like, it's just hard to deal with these things, like, that are going on in these other countries, like Uganda, with gays or with women in, like, these, you know, Middle Eastern countries, because it's too far. You know, we don't really have much control over what their government does. We can't, like, vote in elections there. We can't vote for laws. We can't vote for politicians. Like I said before, change is a very slow process. But there's a, a camp, you know, a Twitter campaign about yes, all women. And, you know, as soon as that's dying down, there's another campaign called Stop, um, what's his name? Elliot Rogers or something? I mean, I'm not Elliot Rogers. That other guy's name. <sighs> if women around the world can create a hashtag to exploit Elliot Roger, then we can start making a campaign, you know, toward, you know, showing the people in their own countries on how they're, how fucked up their lives are living. And eventually, maybe one or maybe a few can, you know, take a look and realize that their country is in fact fucked up and start bringing a change. Like I said again, change is a very slow process, but you gotta start by getting your shit together and working with other people in order to spread the message across. And more and more people will start spreading across because they will know that this is the right thing to do. I mean, we are the same country that in fact stopped SOPA, didn't I mean, Google and um, some other companies, I mean, some internet companies decided to shut down as a response to the SOPA Act. And, you know, the government complied and realized that the, what they're doing is a mistake. However, they still managed to get rid of mega downloads or whatever. So, like I said before... If you want to start a change, then you gotta start by gathering a following. That following starts spreading that word, and the more and more people start participating, the better chance you have as a change. But it has to be changed for the better and not for the worse. And feminism is doing things for the 